This region of Sweden is covered in deep snow for half of the year, meaning that right now the animals that live here are hurriedly preparing for the big freeze just around the corner. I'm hoping Jan is the man to help me catch a glimpse of this in the flesh. He's been studying these rivers and one particularly furry species of rodents for decades. Once we're on the water, it's easy to see why Jan uses such a lightweight electric-powered boat. It allows us to move almost entirely in silence, making it perfect for sneaking up on the skittish creatures that call this river their home. What's so special about the, the beaver species? What do you love so much about them? They're very social, they live in family groups. They uh, leave maybe the clearest the tracks and signs that you can find in the, in, in, the, in the forest. I mean, they can cut down this big aspen trees just with their teeth. And they build uh, dams and they build uh, lodges. So um, it's a fantastic animal that's really interesting to study and to see. I've spent a lot of time to, to film them and to photograph them. And I do a lot of beaver tours and it's always very, very fun. Jan, what is here? Uh, that's the first beaver lodge. Can be hard to, to spot, but uh, the, it's this uh, pile of yeah. branches. Yeah. That's because that the entrance is wow. on the water. This. Look at right, this. Right here is the entrance. So obviously we are looking for these big furry animals, but what else should I be trying to spot? What sort of things do they do? How do they, how do they move in the water? We will uh, follow the left side of the lake here because that's where we usually find them. And they are always swimming close to the bank. So look for something that moves close to the bank and you will probably only see the head. It looks like a little bit like a floating coconut. So that's, that's what you should look for, floating <laughs> coconut. A floating coconut. <laughs> After their near extinction in the late 19th century, Eurasian beavers have been slowly reintroduced to central Sweden, and now their numbers are steadily on the rise, with over 150,000 living in the wild. They spend the warmest months of the year building and repairing their lodges, but it's right now at the end of summer when they're trying to hoard enough fresh branches to keep them fed throughout the winter. Watching them scurry and lollop on the muddy banks of the river, they're certainly not the most graceful of land mammals. But then, as they slip into the water, they seem to take on an entirely different guise. Gliding effortlessly and propelled by their large rudder-like tails before then disappearing underwater with a sudden dramatic splash. <laughs> 